Five questions for the Southside YouTube channel. I'm joined by the world's cutest tag team. And we're going to talk today about female wrestling and intergender wrestling. Uh, first and foremost, would you agree there has been a rise in female wrestling over the last couple of years? Yeah, because of intergender wrestling there has been. <laughs> I, that's what I think it all comes down to. Women are starting to train hard and work really hard and wrestle the best of their abilities. And it's getting to the point where women are getting too good to just wrestle women <laughs> now. <laughs> I, mean, I, I agree to a certain, you know, like I agree with that. Like, I think because there's an intrigue in that because uh, to, for a long time, uh, women's wrestling, they would just, you know, like pe promoters or, or, or people who would train people, wrestlers or trainers, I guess is the word. Yeah. Uh, you know, they would, uh, like a lot of times they would rush the girls on shows because they like having girls on shows yeah. just to, because there's not a lot of them. There's or not a lot. So, but I think a lot of the girls now are taking pride in being the best at what they do and, and being good and not it's just hard. being, not just being the token girls on the show. And they, and they've shown that in their, you know, and, and their ability to get in the ring with guys and do, you know, be equally as, as good as the guys. So I think that's helped. And then, the, you know, and then obviously uh, the women getting better themselves and then they have, they wrestle them each other yeah. and the matches get better. The, the women's matches get better too. Do you think there's a certain psychology when you see the girl going in against a guy and holding her own there? Do you think that helps with from the fans' point of view to say, oh man, this girl's tough. This isn't just a traditional divas girl match. This is actually, this is a female athlete. Yeah, I mean, I think that it's, still there's still some issues with when a girl is in the ring with guys there's a lot of people that still don't they i mean a lot of times when we go somewhere people are just expecting that i'm gonna have my can i say ass is that good? <laughs> okay people think i'm gonna have my ass handed to me yeah. but then once i hold my own then it's like this big surprise and i think it just makes the match all more exciting when they see this tiny little Long girl lighting up a like six foot this, dude. Distracted by the swans. There are about seven swans over there. No, I, I think oh, I, I, I agree. Like, I think yeah. Like, don't don't um, come up here. Uh, what was where were? We, uh, sorry, I lost my train of thought here. Women um, in the match. Oh yeah, no, yeah, no. I think because like um, I think at least the, this day of age of professional wrestling, um, fans, they want to be um, you know, they want to get lost in a good story, and however that story works out to be, if if. If, uh, you know, if you can tell a good story with uh, intergender wrestling or with women, you know, wrestling men, then their fans are willing to go on that ride with you, go on that journey with you. Do you think it's also important to be a positive female role model to young girls looking at wrestling? As, and it's a viable option for them now, which 10, 15 years ago it wasn't. Yeah, I had a little girl actually walk up to me after yeah. I wrestled last weekend. And... I wrestled in a match with five other guys and this little girl ran up to me just so excited after the show and she was like, you beat up five boys and didn't even need any help. And I was like, <laughs> yes, and don't forget that because I have two, oh, three now, I have three nieces yeah. and I want to be a great role model for them and I don't want them to think that they have to do things a certain way just because that's how it's always been. Yeah, when we do appearance, when we make appearances or do autograph signings yeah. or just, you know, meet and greets or whatever, like, it's crazy the amount of girls, the amount of females that come up to Candace and, and are just like, oh, you know, you're my hero, you're my inspiration, like, you know, and not just girls too, like there's guys that like, you know, this five foot two girl here is a hundred pound girl is like, <laughs> you're my favorite wrestler, you know, it's just crazy, crazy. That, you know, like so many people are like inspired by her performances. What female wrestlers inspire you then? Or what wrestlers inspire you? Sorry to broaden <laughs> Yeah, out. don't yeah. you do that now. No, no. Um, <laughs> I actually, when I was a lot younger, I didn't have a lot of there didn't have as much female wrestling when I was little and it was like super rare super rare and actually my favorite matches were when they would do like Luna Vachon and Bam Bam would do like intergender matches or things of that nature but um, a lot of my favorites were like Macho Man and Shawn Michaels Molly Holly and Chris Jericho so those are my favorites and the same question, what rest has inspired you, John? Uh, well, growing up, you know, Hulk Hogan, obviously, <laughs> like, uh, Shawn Michaels when I got a little bit older, and then when I started wrestling myself, I mean, they're for the showman, like, that's what 